This is the short version of a video where I took apart uh, a 10 watt LED work light, uh, a rechargeable one. And it's quite interesting. Uh, I've, the teardown video took a long time because I, a, I had I struggled to get the battery pack out the back because it was well glued in. Uh, but also, I, when I recorded it, the lighting, I set it to about to the standard lighting level and locked it off. And it was just a little bit dark because when I was like poking around in this box here, you just couldn't see anything because it was just too dark. However, to sum it up, it's a rechargeable light with a couple of lithium cells in the back and a 10 watt LED. The 10 watt LED is notable in that it's not got the 3x3 arrangement of chips, but actually has... Um, four sets of chips, two in series, so giving a forward voltage of about six volts. Um, and for the 10 watts, that's going to be round about 250 milliamps. Yeah, which is what it worked out. It worked out around about one amp at the full um, at the full uh, cell voltage. The cells themselves are charged by a dedicated charger. It comes with two chargers. It comes with this one with the little red green light in the back. And when you plug it in, uh, the LED goes red to show it's charging, green to show it's charged, and it puts out just under 8.4 volts. And that goes in in this uh, slightly dubious uh, standard connector that you could so easily plug a, you know, one of the many 12 volt power supplies that, that look pretty much identical to this one. Um, so I'm not sure what would happen if you did that. However, those connections go straight down to the lithium pack which it turns out does have protection in it. I, I was a bit sceptical of whether it had that. It's got uh, a protection chip called a 20CB, and it's got the two MOSFET packs, one for each cell, and they're dual MOSFETs, and they're 8205A and just some support components, capacitors and resistors, nothing really complex in there. One of the spot welds came off, that's slightly annoying. The driver, if you could call it that, I've thoroughly examined this potted secret, potted device here, which I thought was an electronic step-up driver originally, but it turns out it appears to pretty much be a 1 ohm resistor and that's it. Um, from all the tests I've done from the outside, it just looks like a 1 ohm resistor. The other... Um, charger it came with is this car charger that also puts out the 8.4 volts and has that same little uh, LED in it. Uh, so, um, all in all, it's, it's an interesting little light. It claims four hours of continuous use at 10, well, it doesn't say at 10 watts. And when you first power it up, it, it draws about 8 watts. It lights quite brightly, but as the voltage, because it's just a resistor, as the voltage in the cell falls to the point it's going to cut off, the intensity also falls quite dramatically too. Um, so you're going to get a modest run time out of it, but the intensity is going to go down, but you will get a modest length of time. So yes, it's a, it's a neat enough little light. It does seem to have the protection required. It's simple. It's not hackable in the sense you can change the LED. Be, well, you could if you really hacked it, but um, the LED is quite specialised. It's a low voltage uh, LED in that format with the eight chips uh, wired as the two by four array. But yeah, it's it's interesting enough. So um, yeah, it's quite a neat little light.